It's our birthday and we're going to Euler Fest. Got my Viking hair. We got the dogs loaded. We're waiting on Renee, but we're gonna get going here in a minute and we're gonna party. Brack about to do our shot ski. <laughs> it's uh, lots of people. <laughs> it's pretty cold. A little chilly. <laughs> Can you tell? I've warmed up. <laughs> up here. We're doing it. Look what I screwed up. I screwed up. <laughs> I <made> it full. <laughs> I can do this and video at the same time. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be like a big wave. The longest shot ski in the world. I can't believe I filmed the full the way. What was I thinking? Look at mine. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> you have like nothing in it. <laughs> it's coming. Here it comes. Let's go. So Katrina is a smart one. She only put how much? <laughs> and I filled mine up and I am burning. <laughs> so I guess it's now Euler Fest and we go party. <laughs> he wants to go play. So we're gonna get a cool picture of Katrina's rig with the snow. It is 16 degrees in the rural field, like negative four, so it's cold. <laughs> It is 8 degrees. Real feel is like negative 20. It's windy <laughs> and it's snowing. So it's cold. I'm almost there. It's so cold. I'm breathing so heavy because I'm out of breath. But this thing is wet. Bye-bye mountains, we will be missed. I think that's the line to get to Copper Mountain. <laughs> Everybody wants to go ski because we finally got snow in the mountains and they're taking advantage of us. I wonder if that's all traffic to get to the ski resort. Holy cow. Glad I'm not going there. parked in the Tesla parking lot and there's a chicken <laughs> or a rooster he didn't sound right oh you're smacking me in the head dude so it's been a little bit since I posted or I've done a video I'm in a completely what is going on I've had the windows down it's 66 degrees outside and it's sunny it's always sunny in San Diego unless it's raining and it has been raining lately. So I'm not in Colorado. <laughs> I didn't film anything on the way to California. I just did not feel like doing anything. So I'm here in my hometown of San Diego. I'm really enjoying it, if I'm being completely honest. I, let's try that again. So I've been really enjoying 
enjoying being in San Diego. So it's like one of the only places that feels like home, but I'm not gonna lie, it feels really weird not having my best friend here. My best friend Brittany passed away in 2019 and things just haven't been the same. Um, and especially being home, it just feels kind of weird that she's not here. So I've been driving around my old stopping grounds and I, <laughs> not a lot has changed. A few places are no longer in business. Um, a few stores are gone, but for the most part, everything looks the way it was when I left. So I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm here for the holidays, and then I'm gonna be hanging out in California for a while. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm hoping to get some hiking in while I'm out here, but we'll see. All right, you guys, I'm merging onto the freeway, and I'm going to pay attention all right, we're gonna go on a hike. Julian. Julian's one of the mountain towns outside of San Diego that I grew up going to as a kid and one place that I just absolutely love to go to as an adult. Um, it's a little crowded right now. It is the weekend. So I just stopped to get me a pie and I don't have any utensils. You guys, I'm going to have to um, unpack my car to get a utensil and a knife. So I found a trough. I have to clean it. <laughs> But um, that it's never been used, like never touched anything nasty. It's just touched dirt. So I <laughs> think I should use a trough, <laughs> a pooper scooper. <laughs> so since I can't seem to get in um, next to the lake, because I have to pay, I don't pay, I'm cheap. I don't pay. I just paid $17.95 for a pie. Okay, $17.95 for a pie. This thing weighs like 18 pounds though, so I guess uh, it's worth it. But I'm going to sit here. Oh, that was good. So I'm going to sit here um, next to Cuyamaca Lake, or Lake Cuyamaca, and eat some of my pie. And I've decided I'm going to use this end. <laughs> I promise you, it is clean. Um, but whatever, it's going in my body, so whatever. Anyways, and then we're going to go find a hike <laughs> if I'm not in sugar coma. Yeah. All right. This is not my best invention. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting off the ground. It would have been better if it was warm. Just to prove that it does snow in San Diego County. Not in San Diego, but in San Diego County. Look at that sassy beast. Hello, baby girl. All right, we're gonna go do a hike that I have done before, but I did it before I was into vlogging. So we're at Quia Maca Peak. Well, we're not at there yet, but that's the hike we're doing. It's in the 50s, so it's not too cold. I might end up getting hot, and I will not be alone. It's kind of a bummer that I can't bring my dogs on this trail, but that's okay. As we crunch through the snow here. It does look like animals of some sort have been on this trail. But I am not a tracker. I am not an expert at identifying footprints. We will not know what has traveled on this trail. <laughs> okay, that was silly, I know. Anyways, I'm super excited to be back here, you guys, if you can't tell. This is one of my favorite hikes I've done in San Diego County. Cuyamaca Peak is the highest peak 
in the county. It sits somewhere like at 6,000 feet. I'll do an official little spiel. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful up here. Last time I did it was in the summer and I died of heat exhaustion almost. Not really, but close. <laughs> and so now it is winter-ish. It's pleasant. Although you can see there's been fire in this area. Okay, so I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go this way from the junction. <laughs> that is right. So I've actually hiked the hike I was just on. That's how I got to Queen Maca Peak the last time, but it was an 11 mile hike for me. I'm not really in the mood to do 11 miles. I haven't even really hiked in a long time. So, and we're also gonna run out of daylight in about four hours. So we're gonna go the five mile route which might be the Forest Service Road, I'm not sure. It's beautiful nonetheless, though. It smells like a Christmas store. It smells so sweet and piney. It's like those favorite, those pine cones you get for Christmas. That's what it smells like here. I brought my spikes. I have them in the car. It is slow up this ice patch. It is slicker than a greased doorknob. Well, this is a bummer. I can't walk anywhere without slipping. No traction. I didn't think to bring the micro spikes. I'm gonna keep trying, but I think I've reached my limit. It's almost impossible to keep going. Okay. I for real cannot move. I'm gonna slip. <laughs> We're just gonna... <laughs> We're just gonna... Walk down. There's no way. I wish I had my ice axe. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna end up going to just slide down that little patch there. I wonder if I could have walked up on the woods there. No. There's no way. <laughs> it is so slippery. Who would have thought? <laughs> I would leave Colorado to come to California. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go on a hike because of the ice and the snow. Oh. <laughs> so it's a bummer. I couldn't make it up to Cuyamaca Peak. These views are beautiful. This is what I grew up in. San Diego. Mountains. So just because we couldn't make it to Queen Maca Peak doesn't mean we can't go explore this beautiful state park. So we are heading back down, 
but there's another trail. I think it's the Azalea Trail, which I have done before, but didn't film because this is before I was into vlogging. And I think that there's a trail cut off right here in just a little bit. But first, we're gonna look at this beautiful view of Cuyamaca Lake or Lake Cuyamaca. Just got it a little bit further down. All right, here's the split. So we're gonna hop on the Azalea Trail. Um, uh, Azalea Glen Road to Azalea Spring Road, I should say. And we're about to have some amazing views of Queen Maca Lake. So look at those mountains in the background. I know the GoPro makes everything super tiny, but San Diego really is a beautiful place. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased, because I'm from here. It is gorgeous. And so it's kind of crazy that there's so much snow here. It's like really hot outside, so I didn't really anticipate this. <laughs> but we're having a good time. Had I filmed one and a half seconds earlier, you would have saw me go. <gasps> There's a woodpecker. I don't know if he's coming through it. So as I'm walking back to the parking lot, concluding this little beautiful hike, I just wanted to say a few things about Cuyamaca Rancho State Park. This place is very dear to me, like I've mentioned before, but <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who aren't as exactly concerned about that as more of the facts. So Cuyamaca has over a hundred trails and it offers camping, it has an amazingly beautiful campground with really cool facilities. But it also sits at an elevation of 5,000 feet and I attempted to go to the highest peak in this area which was like 6,500 feet which you can get to through the campground. I don't even have to drive. I will say that if you're going to come here for the day, it is $10 to get in, but that $10 goes to helping preserve this beautiful area and all of its wildlife. So to me, it is completely worth it and highly recommended. So I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up since I'm walking past a dumpster now. That's not very scenic. But yeah, I'm really excited. So let's see what else we get into. We're just getting started.